Aquarius, hi, welcome to your read. We're going to look at the energies here today. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, doesn't resonate with you? Come back next week. <laughs> All right, so let's check it out. Now, it's actually, it is quite important, I think, that if it doesn't resonate with you, it's not necessarily saying this video is bad or something, or that I'm a bad tarot card reader. Or, you know, I think it's, these videos really reach out who they need to reach out at the time. So, remember, these are general energies, and the things you say on other tarot card readers' pages or comments and things like that. You have to be considerate that there are other energies out there that might need this read more than you. So, anyways. But, you know, I usually get something from every video, even if it's just a snippet. Um, I think I resonated with my own Leo read on my birthday. Just a tiny bit. And the Saggy read a little bit. I have a Saggy moon, so I resonated with the exercise part that came out in that video. By the way, if you guys have any rising or moon signs... Feel free to check those videos out on my channel. Okay, Aquarius, let's check out the energy for the read. And we have the Hermit. You're going deep within that subconscious. You're going deep within. I don't get, like, you know, the Hermit that you're secluding yourself. I think you're just digging for that answer inside yourself. You might be spending time with a lot of friends, actually. But... Maybe there's something going on here where you're thinking about something in regards to your future here. Let's see here. The energies. Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, that kind of goes with what I was saying with the Hermit here. You have this Five of Pentacles that you were left out in the cold here. That Ten of Wands too. I think you dropped that though. Let's see that. Oof. You got a special, you got two of these special cards in this deck that are specific to this deck only. So I'll try to describe those for you, Aquarius. Let's see here. Let's start with the read. So Five of Pentacles, you were definitely left out in the coal here, I see. But I feel that you dropped that because um, perhaps it got too heavy for you. Or maybe somebody left, you left somebody out in the coal because that situation was too heavy for you. It could go either or. Um, this Ace of Pentacles is a doorway into something new for you, however. That is a doorway for you to step through a new opportunity. This could have been a job. Um, I'm, there's a lot of pentacles, so this could be related with a job, but there's also wands here being dropped, so it could also be dealing with a uh, lover or partner connection that you have. Um, here in the current energies, we have the four of pentacles, the hierophant, and the gift. I'll go over the gift later. Special card to this deck. But it seems like you are in this energy of holding, and maybe you're holding on to some regret, you're holding on to some pain, maybe, uh, letting go. But I feel that that's okay. I don't get a bad vibe that you really need to necessarily go, because I think that's actually forging you with this Hierophant card here. That's forging you to relook and rethink at your structures, what you want. How you want the public to perceive you as well. I'm getting that vibe off this card. That may resonate from some of you. And here, in the future energies, we have the gift. This is a strange card to pull right after the Hierophant. Is that going to focus? I'm so sorry. I'm new to this YouTube thing, so I'm going to have to fix the autofocus. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, the gift is about this key falling in the pond, and that fish is like, hey, that's my key. 
I think it's just that. It's basically that. But it's an opportunity the universe puts you in the right place at the right time for the gift. So there's something here coming really cool for you here in the future. Um, because in the future energies, I see these tiny elephant cards, which is you also going deep within that really goes with this hermit card. This, because this is like tiny elephants is kind of like the Ant-Man movie. Um, he shrinks down, but he shrinks down so much that he's in another universe. So it's kind of like that, that you're looking at things at another universe or a different way now because of this situation here in the past. Um, balance, yeah, this is bringing balance. And like I do feel like you have a very cool read here because something that didn't feel in line with you at the beginning is just kind of putting you on your own. Putting you on your own to find the best possible outcome for a better relationship here. I do think this is relationship vibes or it could be with work vibes. Maybe there's something going on with your work astrologically now. I am pulling kind of like some people might resonate with work. Some people might resonate with love for this read. And the seven of swords at the end. I don't get lying, cheating, stealing off this card. I get more like putting your resources together with somebody else is how I pick this up because there's a four of wands right next to it and then the gift right on top of that on their side. If this is about a connection. I do feel that the two of you are kind of gaining your resources here. Let's see here. Let's clarify what that five of pentacles is. Yeah, I think this was you trying to create some sort of alchemy here with somebody. You were trying to create... Oh, you have an extra card that fell out. We'll take it. This was a new beginning. The Ace of Chalice was hiding behind this Alkes card. It was hiding right behind it. So, yeah, there was a new beginning you were trying to kind of manifest here. Get started. And it looks like you were putting the work. You had the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. But I feel like... Putting that work also puts you in your head about somebody here. Or it might be vice versa. You put somebody in their head. Was it you, Aquarius, put somebody in their head? <laughs> it could have been. Uh, let's see here with the Ten of Wands. That's the second time the card stays over there. Just curious. Ignore that card. Wanted to stay over there. Let's see the Ten of Wands, Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you cut somebody off, or somebody cut you off here. Is putting them off in their head. Possible losing of sleep. And when I see Queen of Wands, I feel like. Let's put it this way I feel like Queen of Wands isn't scared to get burned or isn't scared to like do something risky here you know she's the type of girl that you know calls somebody at uh, 2 a.m to see if they're cheating or not that type thing uh, maybe you did something like that Aquarius but there is this ace of swords and I'm getting you know the opposite is that something was cut off here because somebody wasn't too much in their head about something they couldn't sleep at night about that let's see here Let's clarify this Four of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, Page of Chalices, Ten of Chalices. This is you balancing something here. Um, there might be another energy attached to you as well. But I do feel that's you expressing the best emotions and by working on your own finances here and working on your world, putting your world the way you want to see it, I feel that that's you alone right now. Some of you, it's you alone, and that's you putting yourself in the best spot for the emotional fulfillment. If you're looking for that, I can guarantee you that happens because the gift is here at the end. You also have the Hierophant. That's a very powerful card right next to this card here, 
Let's clarify the Hierophant. Knight of Pentacles, the Fool, and Judgment. Yeah, that's you slowly working on you, who you are, moving forward, and ready to take a leap of faith into new things, but you're ready to do that from a different perspective. I'm getting that maybe some of you felt like you weren't enough for somebody as well. I'm picking that up too from these cards, looking at that with the Hierophant, and that now that you're starting to kind of balance that in, you know, it's kind of like manifesting, right? You know, if you keep thinking people are going to leave you, people are going to leave you, or uh, uh, this person's not going to like me, they're going to hate me, or whatever, eventually that stuff kind of comes up, right? If you're saying that, if you're thinking that, or even worse, if you're thinking that about other people, that ends up happening in your life. So I think this is you learning with this Hierophant, how to kind of channel that energy into just loving yourself, coming from that self-goodness and manifesting something good here because the gift, let's clarify the gift. What is the gift? What is this lucky card here? I love this deck, by the way. Five of Swords, Five of Wands, and the Magician. Well, I did start a talk on manifesting, and the Magician came out to clarify that, you know, the conflicts in your head, the conflicts about passion, the conflicts, and, you know, I feel like it's all in your head. And what you put out there is what you get. You're learning that what you put the goodness inside your head is what you get back with this Magician, and you're learning that with the gift. So... I think the gift here, for a lot of my Aquarians here, what your gift is, is learning the power to manifest something beautiful in your life. That's possibly why this Hermit is here, because you're learning that there are certain things, how you treat people and how you treat yourself is what you bring back in. Let's see what this tiny elephant is here. Why are you looking at the universe in a different way here? Page of Pentacles, he's tiny, and the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. You know, it's funny, because I did say this was kind of like um, that Ant-Man movie, right? You, he shrunk, but then he shrunk even more. So you have the page, the knight, and then a queen here. Um, so I feel this is you looking at perspectives as you level up. We are also looking at perspectives of the people you want to bring in your life. And if you're going to bring them into that circle, instead of maybe if you were the one that was like trying to chase yourself into someone's life, it's you looking at what level are you going to start off in a relationship? What level are you going to start off in something beautiful, something that feels lucky and feels right? You know, you have the four of wands here. So... You know, this is the future, so if this hasn't happened yet or whatever, or it's not going to happen, or you feel like it's not going to happen, well, this is the future here. Welcome to the future here. This is you. You're changing the way you're thinking here. Let's see. The Four of Wands is the Seven of Wands, and the Eight of Wands, and the Three of Chalices. Yeah, that's you bringing a lot of energies and communication into your circle. And I feel like you're going to have a good time. Because I feel like Aquarians, they make good friends. They make the best relationships out of their friends. I feel that for a lot of my Aquarians. I know some Aquarians too. Like, I know a lot of Aquarians. I'm Leo, so I get along really well with my, my Aquarius buddies. And I do feel that this is opening the doors for friendships for you. And perhaps you start looking at a new relationship in the field of starting it as a friendship first here. The Seven of Swords, like I said, I didn't get a bad vibe off of this. Yeah, I didn't get a bad vibe off of this. And sure enough, I get Seven of Pentacles, King of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. Seven, seven, that's ultimate power. That's the power of you know, doing work and not seeing the results, and then that changing from doing work, not having anything given back to you, to this, somebody's actually trying to go ahead and get resources with you. 
and this king of wands. That's you stepping into that king mode. That's you stepping into the, it doesn't matter if this energy doesn't want me here. Um, you have different avenues that are just inside of this universe that are inside of your head from that headspace, that beautiful headspace of yours, you're able to create something that matches your energy. And the best part about this read is that it may seem scary to start something off straight as a marriage, or it may seem scary to start something off as a relationship right away. But you have an option to start these things wherever you feel like it needs to start, right? If you want to just jump into a marriage right away, Hey, it happens. I live in Japan. That actually happens a lot. If you just want to jump into a regular relationship, you know, fast, with this Knight of Swords here, you have the opportunity to do that. If you just want to start off as this page, slow, friends, have a nice date, you can do that. But that all comes from your head from your manifestations and what you put out. All right, I'm gonna pull three playing cards here. I have an Aquarius friend that was talking to me about poker the other day. Once again, you get two fives here. You have four fives. Um, Google what four fives means and figure out what it means in numerology. You get five, five, five in your read here. Um, you have a lot of synchronicities going in your read, especially with that gift card, I believe. Yeah. So you have the three of hearts, five of clubs, and the five of diamonds. I really got to figure out that focus. It was focusing yesterday, and today it's not focusing at all. Anyways. Yeah, with this three of hearts here, that's the portal for the broken heart. I do feel in the past you were broken hearted about something or somebody shut you down or you shut somebody down. Portal for the child five. This is you kind of like that card over here. Tiny elephants looking at your universe, looking at the universe inside of you and how that reflects in the universe outside of you and how you're able to pull in the portal for the sun. Very beautiful sun oracle card portal for the sunset it's kind of like a happy ending you have here and then you do have this king of wands here this is you stepping into that kingly mode the decisions are being made within your universe and you're able to attract what you want Aquarius all right that was your read I hope you enjoyed that and come visit me again next week take it easy bye